Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So I've got a, a little Kringle information video here for you real quick. Um, so first off, I want to say uh, thanks to everyone who um, watched and participated in the live I did the other night with uh, Mick Kittredge from uh, Kringle Candle. Uh, I think it was very informative. A lot of questions got answered. A lot of uh, some previews were uh, teased. Um, and one of those is one of the candles I'm going to show you here, or at least the format that, that's there. Um, so thank you. If you haven't watched that, I'll put a link in the description below uh, so you can catch the replay. It's about it's about an hour and a half. Um, so uh, certainly get a cup of coffee or, or whatever and uh, hang out. So what's going on there? So um, the other thing I want to talk about is Monday, this Monday, uh, March 6th, Kringle is releasing three uh, three wick. Easter candles, right? They're going to be this format, the painted jar format. Uh, it's going to be chocolate bunnies, marshmallow chicks, and jelly beans. So Kringle did a jelly bean three wick, oh gosh, 2018 or 2019 was when they were first experimenting um, with the three wick and the uh, soy paraffin blend. Before that, they had two wicks, which were uh, paraffin, 100% paraffin. But jelly beans was in there before. Not sure if it's the same fragrance. Um, but yeah, so Monday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can use code Philly Candleman, save you 15% off your purchase. So let's get to the heart of this video here. And um Mick and Kringle were kind of to send send one of these over to me. Uh they also sent one to Melanie, uh, Mr. Kong's mom. So She'll be receiving hers uh, sometime in the next uh, century because she lives out west and things always take forever um, to get to her. But uh, she chose a different fragrance. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, I don't. I think she's getting a different format than than I am, um, which is fine. There's only like 15 of these in existence. But um, so yeah, Kringle did send this to me, and they asked me what fragrance I wanted, and I said botanicals. Um, and Mick was reluctant to pour it because he thought that if the two wick was super strong, then the four wick might be, um, too strong. Uh, so I gave him some other options and, well, botanicals. Um, so this is a four wick, 22 ounce jar. Um, right about these are concept jars. They are, there's three different kinds that he is testing. So there's the four wick here, which is 22 ounces. There is a four wick, 35 ounces, which he teased on uh, the live I did with him the other night. Then there is a three wick, um, 23 ounce, I think, which is like tall like this. So again, these jars, there's no guarantee these jars are going to come out. The four wick, 35 ounce, he suggested it would retail around 45 bucks. Um, this I think would be closer to the 30 to 35 dollar range. And I don't know the three wick, but again, pricing could change based on the market and the industry and, and supplies. So um, this doesn't have a lid. They're still working on the lids there. Like I said, these are just prototype jars. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it. So it's four wick, 22 ounces. So this has the exact same amount of wax as their traditional Kringle jars do. But obviously the opening, smaller, larger. So in theory, you should get more fragrance output from a larger opening, right? That's, that's the concept. Um, so here is their three wick soy candle. So for comparison, Right, then we'll take the three wick, and these are only 14 ounces, by the way. 14 and a two wick, right? Slightly larger, slightly larger. Um, and then because this jar represents, or not represents, but is the closest to a homework vessel, let's compare to a homework vessel. So here we have the size. Right, this is obviously taller. This is 14 or four ounces more. This is 18 ounces. This is 22 ounces. Okay. Now you'll notice the crank or the. I'm doing this right here, but 
the homeworks is ever so slightly larger of an opening, right? Slightly larger of an opening. Not by much, the lid doesn't fit, not by much, um, but it is, it is a little larger there. So uh, these go for about 55 um, hours burn time. These go like 100 to 150, around 55, 40 to 50 on this, and then part of what I'm testing, right? So I'm gonna be evaluating this in scent throw performance, right? How does it burn? Um, does it pull out in a decent amount of time? Does it pull out evenly, right? Um, do the wicks get puny when you get halfway down? Does it get too hot, right? Um, so these are all different things that I'm going to be evaluating with this um, candle. Now, to be fair, um, Mick did put the same amount of oil concentration of the 22 ounce jar, the 22 ounce standard jar, into this, right? So, as you mentioned on this live, there is a possibility that if in like the larger 35 ounce jar, the same amount of oil concentration that they put in the 22 ounces is put in the 35 ounces, it may become too strong, okay? Some people really want a candle that's really strong. Other folks don't. The other thing is, where does this fit in the lineup? Does it replace this? I know a lot of folks who like this, who want to keep this classic jar around. I mean, I've said on the live. Um, I think... Personally, I think you have to keep this, right? Um, just because it fits in existing accessories, but that's the thing that get these candles out there and see what the reaction is, right? So as I'm burning this and testing this, I'm gonna take you along the journey and see how it goes and what are your thoughts, right? Because I'm one person, Melanie's one person, other folks see this and, and try it, you know, and see how it burns. You know, what are your thoughts? Um, what are your thoughts on price? What would you be willing to pay for a 22 ounce, 100% soy wax four wick jar? Um, you know, this is $29.50. Would you spend $35? Would you spend $31? You know, um, these are just all things that, uh, you know, Kringle is going to be evaluating over time. Um, and does it make sense? right? Is there a demand for it there? So you guys send your feedback in. I know you guys did on me uh, live, right? And that was all, all duly noted. Um, and on my subsequent posts and whatnot, that I think the general consensus is don't get rid of these, right? Um, but, you know, Kringle is going, you know, hardcore with the three wicks, right? Um, they're 25, 50, 14 ounce three wicks. Um, they have a whole bunch coming out, including the Easter ones, right? There's 30-some spring candles that are not part of the existing spring collection. So 30-some spring three-wicks that are coming out. Halloween three-wicks are coming out, right? Christmas, holiday, all this fun stuff. So it's just, there's a lot going on at Kringle right now. Um, so yeah, like, like, what are your thoughts? And and even if this is like, you know, like Mick said, you know, these are like 45, 30 bucks or whatever, um, you're still going to offer discounts on them, right? Like a sale or you can use my code or anybody's code, whatever, what have you. Um, but yeah, so this is a fake label, by the way. It's just the same label as this. Um, they have to do it because it has all the burn instructions on there. Um, so it's just a, a safety thing there, but um, it says it's a 14 ounce candle. It's obviously not a 14 ounce candle. Um, so yeah. Uh, send your feedback in. I'm going to start burning this this week. I'm going to burn it in different locations around the house just to kind of see performance, see if, um, you know, we talked about dead zones, right? Dead airflow. See how that works. Um, well, that's what I got for you guys. So thanks for watching. Remember, Easter, Monday, 9 o'clock Eastern, three, three wicks. Um, yeah. All right. And I'll, I'll post more about that. But thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there.